Okay, here we have the uh, Mocha Crystal coffee maker. It's a very beautiful little machine. Um, it costs about 60 euros. And um, the, um, the bottom of the uh, can is filled with water. On top of that is a, is a filter, um, aluminum filter with coffee powder inside. And um, we are about to see how the system works. Once the water is hot, um, it'll race to the top where the um, coffee powder is located and it will um, run through the coffee powder and eventually through the pipe inside the um, the coffee maker that you see inside the, the glass container. Um, it will run through the pipe and then um, eventually end up in the um, in the glass container. So this is a very unique system, very old and uh, Bialetti has I think invented it and they have different kind of uh, of, uh, of those um, coffee makers. The classic one uh, you probably seen before is the all aluminum one. Um, I'm gonna show this at the end of the presentation here. This one here is a little fancier, a nicer version. Um, first of all, it, it looks a hell of a lot more uh, fancy and uh, nicer overall. And also, of course, you can actually see um, when the coffee is ready and um, witness the progress it makes by running through. And it looks really nice. Um, it's a very, very beautiful little thing. And surprisingly, uh, the coffee out of this um, little thing here tastes um, much better than if you would, for example, use a, um, a machine, like an espresso machine, let's say, you know, 200, 300 euros. You can buy those um, machines either where the, co where the uh, beans are grinded automatically and then um, on, the, on the push of a button you get your espresso. But uh, believe me, um, amazingly, this one here tastes a lot better, has a lot more body to the coffee. Um, you can actually, um, the aroma is, is very intense and there is a little loss of, of the overall aroma and taste. While um, with the commercial machines, the, especially the Shibo ones, um, it kind of tastes like, you know, well, it tastes okay, like good to a certain point, but not um, you can't really compare it to this one here. Um, if you go to um, to an espresso bar or to a coffee shop and they have um, this those professional machines there that cost 10, 15, 20,000 euros, um, that is about equal in taste. If, if you buy one of those, in a regular at the a regular espresso bar and then compare it with this little machine here um, they are about equal in taste okay now the coffee started to to run through you can see how slowly uh, the glass container is being filled very slowly the, the coffee um, runs down the pipe there I think it's uh, the system is based on uh, on pressure um, once the the water is um, is almost boiling obviously um, the water steam raises up and uh, provides the pressure for the water to to run through um, to run through the the whole system otherwise it, it wouldn't be able to to run upwards but because of the pressure being developed um, that's how it works so now um, you can see how nicely um, the container is, is filling with coffee and um, I don't know, it should take about maybe um, well, roughly 90 seconds, maybe two minutes at the most for the whole um, coffee to be, um, uh, for the whole water to, to run through. And um, you should also, um, if you prepare this, you shouldn't set the, uh, the, the stove to the highest, to the highest level, for example, to six. Um, then it'll boil too quickly and um, it, it runs through too, too quickly. So maybe three or four is, is, is perfect. And you can hear the little steaming noises. That's now, the coffee is now in the, in the final stage and where the remaining air is running through. And um, it's about done. You can even see the, the steam escaping there. 
and um, just about now it's it's done and um, also important is uh, if you use those you should always fill up the the, co the filter that I gonna show to you um, soon you should always fill it up um, all the way to the top or near to the top okay I guess that's it gonna shut down the stove here and um, I'm gonna show you now the small brother the classic version that I mentioned earlier you see the classic version as here we see a, a two cup version um, this is how it looks it's all aluminum also Bialetti made in Italy so this is the classic version that you may know and containing three parts the, the bottom you fill up the water up to the rim to the lower rim there and then there is the actual coffee filter here that's where you put your espresso powder that goes in there and then later you screw this on top and this one here you should always screw, um, screw up really tight so that there's no water pouring out on the side so you have to always you know when you close it always very tight all right so that is the same system basically but obviously not as nice not as fancy all right so that's it um, I hope um, you like this presentation and it may have inspired you to buy one of these little coffee makers I like him a lot the coffee is awesome it's very good and um, it's a really really neat alternative to a classic coffee machine and believe me the coffee in a classic coffee maker doesn't taste nearly as good not even close I mean it's a big difference in taste and um, you know go for one of those here uh, these are really nice all right thank you bye bye